guys, it's Lana here. I really hope that you guys are all well. I'm going to show you guys how I straighten my hair because it's a little bit different from my channel because it's always all about curly hair. So this is really just me using different tools that I had in my room to straighten my hair. So you'll find out in the rest of the video which kind of tools and which products I use. And no, you don't have to use the same products that I use. This is just what I use. And they worked well enough for me because obviously my hair is straight now. I don't think that I've got any heat damage or none that I can see right now, which is... A <laughs> which is obviously a huge plus. This is actually the next day because I forgot to film an intro yesterday. So yeah, this is my second day straight hair. Make sure that you give the video a huge thumbs up if you have a thumb, because that just really helps me out. And also make sure that you subscribe if you don't want to miss anything in future. And yeah, I think that is all that I need to say for right now. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I actually washed my hair yesterday and the reason I'm straightening my hair today is just because I wanted to because I wanted to film some Belle hair tutorials from Beauty and the Beast. But even though it was only yesterday that I washed my hair I can't just go ahead and straighten my hair right now because I've got tons of product in my hair for when I had it curly. I have a slightly different wash routine on days where I'm planning to straighten my hair and that's just to really prep my hair the best for straightening so I get like the least amount of damage and stuff like that. I'm using a cleansing cream from Care Care. It's going to be a lot less harsh and I just like using this one because it says on the description that it is going to remove product buildup so I'm just gonna go and do that and I will be back in a minute for you guys so I'm just gonna section my hair off I don't have anything in my hair right now I just washed it with the cleansing cream that I mentioned oh I just spilled loads of this on my dressing gown I'm just gonna apply this like throughout my whole head in sections I'm gonna use quite a lot because I'm using it as a treatment today on the ends make sure you definitely get it on the ends so I like to go through like this like quite a lot like there's like there's a lot on my hand I'm gonna leave that on for one hour exactly one hour only so what can I do in one hour what would you guys do in one hour if you had an hour spare I'm gonna go and walk my dog just gonna put my hair up it doesn't need to be perfect the only people that I see when I'm walking my dog are like other dog walkers and they don't care what my hair looks like so I'm just gonna leave it like that while I go and walk my dog Hi guys, so I am now back and I'm ready to start straightening my hair. My hair feels super soft once I take that stuff off. You will feel it too. If you use that as a deep conditioning treatment and then rinse your hair out, you'll find your hair feels amazingly soft. So that's what I did. Now I am going to start blow drying my hair straight. So I rinse my hair with cold water to make sure that my cuticles are sealed. So that will just help to prevent some frizz. But I know that as soon as I apply some heat, it's going to raise the cuticles again. So I'm not sure how effective that is, but it's just something that I always like to do just to try and help my hair out as much as I can. So I'm going to use this from Care Care for my leave-in conditioner today. I don't want to use something too bulky like what I would usually use for a like my curly hair routine because it's going to be like a lot more noticeable on straight hair so I don't want something that's going to like weigh down my hair or make my hair look sticky or greasy or something like that. The reason I use this one is because it says it's excellent for blow drying which is what we are about to do right now and I'm about to work that through my hair in sections. I usually just do it with my fingers but because I want this to be perfect because I'm showing you guys. So I want to do it with the afro comb. I need to put on some music while I'm straightening my hair. I always, always have music on or like the TV or something while I'm straightening my hair. I don't know how people can do this without something on in the background. And what I want to do next is just add a little bit of this one. Like you guys totally don't have to add all of these products to your hair, but I just like this one because it's gonna add like a little bit more sheen to my hair. So I like to section my hair off when I'm blow drying it. And I'm gonna tie this up on top of my head. So you guys can see I've got a little bubble just here. And then you just want to take like a big brush, like I'm just using this one, this one is from Tangle Teaser. So I'm just going to brush through, make sure there's no tangles. There's literally no tangles. That's amazing. I think it's because of the leave-in. The leave-in says that it helps to detangle. Then I'm taking my hair dryer and you just want to fit one of these nozzles on it. Right, but I'm kind of a bit scared of this hair dryer because this like sucks in. And have you ever seen the movie Just My Luck with Lindsay Lohan and her hair gets stuck in the hair dryer at the back, like it sucks in. And I always thought, how did that happen? Because like my hair dryer never used to suck in, it used to blow out. So I used to think, how did that even happen? And then I got this one and I was like, whoa, it sucks in. So I have to be really careful. This is why I love using this, because look, I haven't even used the straightener yet. Like, I know it's hella frizzy, but look how straight these bits are already. So those are gonna straighten really nicely. And that's why I like using a hairdryer. 
Like I don't like going straight in on curly hair and then using a straightener right on top of curly hair. So I like to blow dry it straight first and then use a hair straightener after that. And when you're using this, like, because I can't turn it on right now because you won't be able to hear me, but when I'm using this, so I like to go down with my comb and then I follow through with this and I make it face downwards like this so that I don't cause tons of frizz in my hair and that I don't rub my hair up the wrong way. My arm hurts already and I haven't even started straightening yet. So now we can go ahead and get started straightening. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to section off my hair. So I usually like to section it around about here. And then I clip that up. It doesn't really matter whether you clip it up or tie it up. But I can't obviously put all of this into the straightener by itself. So I'm going to have to split it again. So I do a small section like this size, and then I wanna go and clip this up here. So what I like to do at this stage is take this Silk and Seal Liquid Sheen from Care. Care. So again, this one says that it's excellent for blow drying, but I like to go ahead and use it for when I am using my heat, st my heat straightener. When I'm using my heat straightener, I like to use this. <laughs> so I take a bit more on the ends, like this, just to make sure my ends are nice and protected. Then I take my straightener. I'm going to set it to about 180 degrees. That's 180 degrees Celsius. So that's approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That heat is absolutely fine for me. It's never caused me any damage or anything like that. I am going to use this brush and I'm going to run this along my hair ahead of the straightener so that my hair is nice and straight. When I get to the ends, then I like to kind of roll it under. I would rather do like a few slower passes at 180 degrees than do like passes at like 250 degrees Celsius or 230, 220. Back in the day when I used to straighten my hair loads, I used to think, oh my God, it doesn't even go past 200. How's it gonna straighten my hair? But really any higher than that and you know, you're just gonna damage your hair. So that's after, what was that, maybe three passes. Okay, so now we can take this clip down. You don't really wanna take any more hair than what you can fit on your comb, because if the chunk of hair is too wide to fit on the comb, then you've got nothing to kind of pull it down in front of the straightener, and it's just, it's not gonna go straight, if that makes sense. So like, you see how every piece of hair right now fits onto the comb, like this comb where my fingers wiggle in, so all the hair fits on there, which means I can pull it all down straight in front of the straightener. I really love this because I can get right up into the roots without like burning myself, which is obviously a plus. <laughs> so I had to move further away because you couldn't see my whole head and like I promise you the camera is not even zoomed in it's just that I'm using a 50 millimeter lens and it's automatically like really zoomed in so I'm actually so far away from the camera right now and you guys still can't see my hair but it's down here so this is the bit that we've already done of course and now we will get started on this side and I decided actually that I want to use a little bit of oil to make my hair feel a little bit sleeker. So I'm taking some of my Andre, Andre Walker French essential oil. It's Mongongo Argan oil. So you don't want to use too much because I promise you it will make your hair look greasy. Spray the ends because I don't want no damaged ends and you don't want no damaged ends. We're going to take a tiny section again. So you just want to place your comb like this and then get your brush and take it under. You can probably go over as well, but I find that it always works best if I take the brush under. So that is one pass of the brush. Right, okay, so that is three passes. That's hot on my neck. So we've got another section of hair, and so I'm going to spray it with our liquid sheen heat defense. I don't want none of that heat damage. I have switched my styling apparatus. I switched back to the normal um, hair straightener because I'm not sure why, but this, the brush was just like making my hair go static. Now that I see the difference side by side, I think that actually I prefer this straightener. I don't even know where I got this straightener from. I must have had it for so long, but it seems to be doing the trick. It doesn't even have like different heat settings. It's just on and off. So I'm just using some of that oil and I'm running it through my hair and it's making all the difference 
That was actually so much better than the brush. I don't know why I thought that the brush would be better. It's just not the brush's day today. So I like to take a little bit of the oil on the ends, run it through, get it looking nice and silky. Spray it, spray, spray, spray. Spray it, don't say it. I got a text. Somebody loves me. Oh no, they don't. It was an email. E to the M to the e M email. So we take down more, we spray more. You get to the ends, make sure that you are holding the brush like this and then following through with the comb. And you wanna hold it really closely when you get to the ends, otherwise it's just not gonna work. So because we've got a new section, so I'm gonna take some of the heat defense. That's going right there. My friend just sent me the cutest Instagram. She is currently at the YouTube space in London and my video, my Valentine's Day date night video kind of thing, is currently playing on the big, huge video wall at the YouTube space in London. How cool is that? I wish I was there, but I'm not. So that's what happens if you take a chunk that's too big. So I'm gonna have to do that again. I need some music to listen to guys. Comment down below some music that I should listen to because not like anything that's in like the top 40 at the moment. I mean, there's probably something, but over listen to the 1975. No, I can't really listen to that. Yeah, I just don't really know what to listen to. So comment something down below that I can listen to, please. I've lost my comb. Haha, <laughs> I was there. So we've got kind of make sure you do is like, don't let this hand, this wiggly finger hand, don't let that get too far ahead of the straightener. Like you've got to keep it quite close. Now, I also want to say that just because I'm using this oil doesn't mean that you need to go out and buy an oil like this, that you don't need to use argan oil or some other kind of fancy oil. You can literally use olive oil or coconut oil and that's just going to add like some sheen and it helps to keep the moisture in as well. So you don't want to dry your hair out completely. I literally haven't shaved my hair so long like I've forgotten what I do. <laughs> but I remembered that what I like to do when I get to about this stage is I like to just wrap my hair like this and put it into like little princess layer buns. That just kind of helps it to stay in place once I'm done. I think there is literally just a lot of humidity in this room. It can really get into my hair and it can prevent it from setting. So I like to just do this and it, I don't know why, but it works. And it's what I always used to do when I used to strip my hair. Now we can take down more hair and we're so close to being done. And like way up here is where I've got some much shorter layers. So you guys, can see that these bits of hair that I'm doing right now are not as long as the rest of my hair. That's like, that's just the layers that I cut in the other day. And this is actually gonna be the first time that I've seen them on straight hair. So, okay, second pass for this piece of hair now. Keep it really close to the comb. I watched the Cinderella today, the live action Cinderella. And that song is in it. And it's really, really light, nice. Nice? Mm. No, it's really, really nice. Like, I'm pretty sure people don't fall in love with people just because they're a prince. Well, I wouldn't anyway. Oh my gosh! That's our middle part that we did earlier. That means we are gonna be done with this side when we get this bit done. Right in time too, because I am starving. You see what you just witnessed? You witnessed me texting back as soon as I read the message. Hey guys, so for some reason my camera turned off when I was doing the other side, but luckily we managed to get right to the top of my head before my camera actually shut off. So I did this bun thing with all of the rest of my hair and I've left it now for around about an hour and now I can go and take it off and I can show you guys what it looks like. Like if you didn't want waves in your hair, it's not gonna create really extreme waves. I just prefer my hair to have like some kind of movement, like some kind of body as well, instead of being dead straight. So I really like how it turns out when I do this. And as you can see, where it's been in those buns for the last hour, it's all really calmed down, the static is gone and it's like no frizz in it at all. So I really like to do my hair, I look bleh. So I really like to do that with my hair at night time when I've got my hair straight. So that's what I will do tonight because it's actually 
It's nine o'clock right now, so it's not too late. If you don't like the waves, then you can literally just brush them out. They're really easy to brush out. And if you do want them to last longer, then you can, of course, apply some hairspray before you put them in the bun and while you put them in the bun. And that way they will last a really, really long time. So I like to get a little bit more volume at the top of my head just by brushing also this way and then pushing it back down that way. And that way I get a little bit more volume and my head doesn't feel so flat. I know I switched up tools and stuff halfway through, but I literally haven't straightened my hair in so long. So it's kind of a little bit of a learning process for me. So yeah. Please give it a thumbs up if you have a thumb because that just really helps me out. So make sure you go and do that. This side or this side is down one of these sides. And also there is a subscribe button. So please make sure you press that so you don't miss anything more from me. And make sure you hit the bell as well so you don't miss the notifications when I upload a video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye. Thanks again for watching and if you want to stay tuned then you can click on any of the playlists showing on screen now or you can just subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!